Dear students and friends, in this lecture video, we can discuss about image sampling and quantization. So, image sampling and quantization. In digital image processing, signals captured from the physical world need to be translated into digital form by digitization process. In order to become suitable for digital processing, an image function f of x, y must be digitalized both spatially and in amplitude. This digitization process involves two main processes called sampling and quantization. So here, when we want to process the image on the digital computer, the image must be in the form of digital. So initially, the image captured by the image acquisition process is in the form of analog signal. So image is captured by using any image acquisition de uh, device is initially in the form of uh, analog signal. So we have to convert this analog signal into digital signal. So then only we can process the image on the digital computer. So here is the process how an analog signal is transferred into digital signal that is digital image. So by using these two techniques sampling and quantization techniques we can convert the analog signal into digital signal so sampling and quantization sampling is nothing so digitizing the coordinate values is called sampling quantization is digitizing the amplitude values is called quantization so when an image is said to be digital image means it should accomplish the f of x y so it should set f of x y so here x y are the coordinate values of the image f of x y is the amplitude values so always we can represent the image in the form of a 2d representation that is x y is the coordinate values and f is the amplitude values amplitude is nothing intensity value of the image so next Sampling, since an analog image is continuous, not ju just in its coordinates, x-axis. So here, sampling is done in x-axis. So sampling is done in x-axis, but in uh, quantization is done in y-axis. So the part that deals with the digitizing of coordinates is known as sampling. In digitizing, in digitizing sampling is done on independent variable in case of equation y equal to sine of x it is done on x variable so here sampling is done that is the coordinate values are digitalized so here we have sample points so this is sample points and here we have time in y axis we have voltage next so here is sampling has a relationship with image pixels the total number of pixels in an image can be calculated as a pixels equal to total number of rows into total number of columns as i already said the image digital image is represented in the 2d dimensional so when we talk about 2d dimensional means we have rows and columns so how the pixels are calculated in a particular image means total number of rows into total number of columns for example let's say we have total of 36 36 pixels if we are having 36 pixels in a particular image means in that image having 6 rows and 6 columns, 6 into 6, 36 pixels. So here is the original signal. So this is the electromagnetic signal or electrical signal for this particular image. So this is in the form of analog signal. So we have to convert the signal into digital signal for processing it into digital computer. So when you want to apply a digital image processing technique on this image, the image should be in the form of digital signal so here with the help of sampling technique so this uh, analog signal has converted into digital signals so now by using this digital image we can apply various techniques of the digital image processing so next one is quantization quantization is opposite to sampling so uh, sampling is done on x-axis whereas Quantization is done on y-axis. Quantization is a process of transferring a real-world sampled image to one taking only a finite number of distinct values. 
Under quantization process, the amplitude values of the images are digitized. In simple words, when you are quantizing an image, you are actually dividing a signal into quanta, that is partitions. In quantization process, amplitude values are digitized and here the images are divided into various partitions. Next in the image shown below, these vertically ranging values have been quantized into five different levels of partitions ranging from 0 black to 4 white. This level would vary according to the type of image you want. So here quantization is done on y axis. So these are the sample points. So here, <coughs> so the images are divided into various partitions. So 0 which indicates the black intensity value of uh, the image is black then 1 it indicates the gray level and followed by 4 which indicates white. So this indicates the quantization process. So here the amplitude value of the image are digitized. Next the number of quantization levels should be high enough for human perception of fine sharing details in the image. The occurrence of false condovers is the main problem in image which has been quantized with insufficient brightness levels. So here is the example for the image quantization process. So here you are looking three different uh, uh, pictures. This is a raw image that is the original image which is in the form of uh, analog. So here uh, applying the, we are applying the digitization uh, concept over the image. So now the various intensity levels of the images are digitized. So now the image is in the form of digital image. So this is how we can digitize the image by using the technique sampling and quantization. Hope you can understand the concept of sampling and digitization in digital image processing concepts. Thank you.